All right, welcome everybody to tonight's Town of Pompey Planning Board meeting. Call oh, meeting to order uh, April 15th, 2024. I'm Sue Smith, Chairman. Uh, quick introductions to my right is board member <laughs> Dan Vargavis. Um, Kevin Corson is running a little bit late tonight. Um, Secretary Sarah LeJudas, myself, Carl Ferencrude, Deb Cook, and Luke Prezidi. Town Engineer John Dunkel, Planning Board Attorney Amelia McLean Robertson. Um, in the back, we do have our Codes Enforcement Officer Tim joining us today. And thanks to Veronica for running our Zoom and all, all the good stuff. You so, bet. Uh, if we could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In light of recent happenings here in Syracuse, um, <clears throat> yesterday, and there's some uh, personal contacts that are affected by that also. I ask for a moment of silence for our two fallen police officers, please. Thank you. Uh, first off, if we're reviewing our minutes from the March 18th, 2024 meeting, do we have any corrections, additions, or deletions to them? Hearing none, make a motion to approve as presented. I'll make a motion. And I'll second it. Any okay, further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? I uh, opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. First on our agenda tonight is the Curtis subdivision scheduled as a public hearing on an application for the subdivision of two acres of land from a 14.54 acre parcel located on Bush Road in the town of Pompey. Tax map number is 018.02-08.1. Representative, come on up. Hey guys. Your name again? Nicholas Curtis. You just kind of go back over again? Yep. So um, we were just um, going to break off that two acre rectangle there on the east line. Um, pretty straightforward, cut and dry. Nothing really too, you know. Crazy about it. I spoke, I know the last time I was here, you guys said something about the additional lot and one um, I spoke with a surveyor about that, and he said it was part of the map, and there really wasn't anything that that he could do about it. So I'm not sure. <clears throat> I don't know, you know, as far as that goes. was what was labeled lot yeah so there was it, it was lot one and you're subdividing lot two into two pieces yeah so that that lot one that's on above this property is not part of my property that's a part of the this whole thing was one big subdivision at one time back in the past mm -hmm. So that that was a lot one from previous lots that were subdivided off. That that's got nothing to do with me. This lot one that I'm looking to subdivide off is the current one down here on this two acre lot. Well, Amelia, would it make more sense if a lot one that he says is not part of his, if somewhere on that showed the name of the of that original um, subdivision. So you don't own this. I don't own this. No, else. this would be my lot one and then my lot two. Um. So you're asking if 
you should put the property owner's name on that section of lot line. I mean, it would make it clear. Is that uh, did your uh, they didn't want to just add the name. They just didn't want to change the lot number. Yeah, no, I asked him about it. And he's he just basically told me that's how it was. And I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. So. I mean. If you made it lot three, you made it lot three. That one. But he's saying. But then, he's yeah. saying that. If I understand you. Yep. This lot yep. was never. That's not me. But, I was part what, of it. but originally, was this like all together and yeah. then that was off and this was off? Yeah, the, whatever they did way back in the day, I have no idea, but they it had it, it been subdivided numerous times. So I'm assuming that that was, a, that was a lot one of a subdivision from the past. So when this was split, this was one and this was two? Most likely. So then in that case, I think we could make this three it's in the chain if that mm -hmm. yeah if that was if if that came from yeah okay. yeah yeah if that was the case all right i guess it's nicholas the basically the question of what we're looking at of your lot one and two before you drew in a lot line was that referred to as lot two Um, so this original 14 acre mm -hmm. piece was that referred to as lot two? I mm -hmm. I don't know, honestly. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> um, should that show on that? Because it would create a, a recording issue, I think. If <clears throat> this whole section here, that's mm -hmm. I guess what we mean. Now. If this was all lot two. Mm -hmm. Then we could just do this and make this lot three. Okay. All right. I didn't even ask him. I didn't ask him about that. I didn't ask him about the lot three. So that would be something. I was just asking him if if he could remove that lot one on top and just get that out of the equation altogether. Mm -hmm. You know. Take it out. Yeah, the tax passing up to the top one, top left. Yeah, yeah. to just show that it's not part of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. 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 Somehow, there's got to be some kind of differentiation, yeah. like confusion down the road. I will run that by him for sure. Um, that would make sense. Tax map name, something like that. John, did you see that? Pretty Any other questions from the board? Well, no, I, not it, just a general question, I guess, for the attorney would be is, you know, if a parcel has been subdivided, say it was a hundred acre piece, and it's already been subdivided four ways. It's a minor subdivision. How many years later can it come back and one of those pieces be resubdivided four times again? I'd have to look into that. I, I, would, I don't know. So that would be, you know, when we're looking at these, when there's multiple numbers already, it's implying mm -hmm. to me it's already been subdivided once. If it's been subdivided twice, then going a third time is no big deal. Mm -hmm. But if it's going a fifth time, then then you're in a major subdivision category. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we have any way of probably figuring that out. So, so that's the only thing that was rummaging in my mind. <laughs> Otherwise, it seems like a very clean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that has been advertised. Are we done advertised? Do you have the confirmation that you said? I have it. It's not with me tonight. Okay. But I can get it to you very soon. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I know you did send them because I talked to one of your neighbors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Letters were definitely sent. Yeah. No, I saw. So, yeah. yep. for opening the public hearing, um, after looking over 
application and um, input. We're going to do our seeker assessment. Seeker is a series of 11 questions which may be answered either by no or small impact or moderate to large impact. So number one, will a proposed action create a material conflict with an adopted land use planning, use plan or zoning regulations? I say no or small impact. <clears throat> will a proposed action result in the change in the use or intensity of land? Again, no or small impact. Great. Number three, will the proposed action impair the character or quality of the existing community? No or small impact. Will the proposed action have an impact on the environmental characteristics that cause the establishment of a critical environmental area? No or small impact. Will the proposed action result in an adverse change in the existing level of traffic? or affect existing infrastructure for mass transit, biking, or walkway? No, or small. Welcome, Sorry. Sorry. Will the proposed action cause an increase in the use of energy and it fails to incorporate reasonably available energy conservation or renewable energy opportunities? No, or small impact. Will the proposed action impact existing A, public or private water supplies, and B, public or private wastewater treatment utilities on both no or small impact? Eight, will the proposed action impair the character or quality of important historic, archaeological, architectural, or aesthetic resources? No or small impact? Will the proposed action result in an adverse change to natural resources, such as wetlands, water bodies, groundwater, air quality, flora, and fauna? No or small impact. Will the proposed action result in an increase in the potential for erosion, flooding, or drainage problems? No or small impact. And 11, will the proposed action create a hazard to environmental resources or human health? No or small impact. Based on these findings, I make a motion for a negative declaration. Okay. Carl seconds. Do we have further discussion? Hearing none. Vote aye for approval. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries for negative declaration. So it's been advertised. We've done a seeker. We make a motion to open the public hearing on the current subdivision in Bush Road. I'll second the motion. Seven seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Public hearing is now open. Is there anybody here from the public that wishes to comment on the subdivision? At least I'm getting smiles. <laughs> <laughs> going once, going twice. Hearing none, make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Public hearing is now closed. Based on these findings, um, I guess let's bring Kevin. Our only discussion was on trying to label the lot, lots. Um, the surveyor told me he couldn't change that name. So we're trying to figure out, can he at least identify it either with a parcel number or current owner or whatever. Um, other than that, I think we're good then. Good satisfied. Yeah, I'll reach out to him and run that by him. Hopefully he can put something in there. Just some way to differentiate. Yeah, yeah. Who's there? Yeah. Okay. So, based on the contingency of getting the lot, original lot one clarified, I make a motion to approve the Curtis subdivision based on a map by Seguin, S U G U I N, Land Surveying, E L L C, map dated 1 2 24.
e vai fazer o registro. Or a second, do you want to include the fact that lab one is not approved for building until septic system and driveway? Drive a car and septic. I will add that to the motion. One more time. <laughs> With the note that lot one is not a buildable lot until septic and driveway. Is there a second? Second. Second by Kevin. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. So, two things the lot one mm -hmm. and the uh, information <clears throat> that you sent out the certified mail. Okay. After you get a lot one and so on, you bring the maps here. Um, either I can sign them or Tim can sign them. Okay. 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 Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Are we all set? Well, good luck with everything. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Take care. You know what this would do from this point, right? Yes, I'm going to get a hold of the surveyor, see if that he can get the tax ID on that. And then I will get to her the affidavit. And then um, that's pretty much it. Right? Those bring the maps back. back so we can get them signed. And then bring the maps to be signed. Okay. 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 So just bring them back. And don't forget the file. Don't forget what I'm sorry. The file the maps. Okay. Um, just bring them back to just the town or to the next meeting. You now you bring him back for the meeting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Have you got his number? Oh yeah. So just give <laughs> him a call so I will be here or whatever. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Everybody um, seems to have his number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Alrighty. Thank right, you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate Thank it. Yep. Okay, next on the agenda, Lockheed Martin's site plan review. Preliminary review of the site plan submitted by Lockheed Martin for the rebuild of a dome building used for equipment testing in the same location as a previous dome located at 3254 Windy Hill Lane in the town of Pompey. Text map number 015.02-22.0. Amelia, I have a question on this one. Why did they have to come before this board if they're rebuilding something that was already there? Um, well, for site plan approval, right? Yeah. It's, a it's, it's on the same. It's, 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 it's been taken like down. But they're tearing out concrete and stuff like that. Right, so we have to rebuild the property. Orders. So you're not putting it on the same footprint. It's you on are. the same footprint. It's actually the dome is slightly smaller than right. the existing footprint. So we'll be rebuilding the footers and putting the dome on top of the existing. It just would seem to me that'd be more code enforcement just to make sure that the concrete's done well. We don't really do that, and the dome is going to be in the same spot that the existing dome was in. I'm just curious. There's a type two. There's a type two action under secret, but site plan deals under the town code. So I don't. You know. There's some additional site grading and some trenching. It's different than what asphalt replacement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just curious. If you need that, what about that? Thanks. We still can't read all these. <laughs> Yeah, everybody the prints so small nowadays I can't see anything. Yeah, we have water prints too, right? No, it's it's our eyesight is old people. Thanks. 
Steve Miron, with CMS Engineer. What was his name? Steve Miron. M-E-A-R-O-N. Right here. Oh, yeah, so this is the one right when you get to the facility. Correct. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Here with Jeff Eichel with Lockheed. Uh, we're here in front of you today for a new pad sitting on an existing pad. It's roughly 2,300 square feet uh, with a 400 foot entryway. Uh, the dome stands roughly 41 feet tall. Uh, there's two existing domes on site. Uh, this one has been built recently and this one's existing. This is uh, 45 feet tall. And you've been using that um, platform with uh, portable radars and such. Yeah, it'll, yeah, be, so it'll be used with the, that type of radar plus a new new line of radar. Right, right. So you've been actually using that part of the facility. So it's, yeah. Yeah, there's existing footers there. There's existing tie downs for the radar that they're currently using. Yep, yep. Uh, those will all be replaced for the new pad. So essentially, you're going to do the same thing, just put a dome over it. Correct. We'll be upgrading the electrical service to it too, but yes. So you guys don't have to stand in the rain anymore. The main reason we know about it. <laughs> Other site improvements. Well, there's an existing antenna that will be moved from roughly this location, uh, 50 feet to the north, uh, out of this drive aisle. Uh, mm -hmm. There will be a new uh, communication building, which is 8 by 14 by 12 feet tall. And a new transformer will be built on site. We don't propose any new lighting. So the future range building that's shown on here, that's the one you just got approved for. That's the one that, yeah, it's okay. already approved. Yep, yep, that hasn't been built yet. Yep. Oh, that, that building has been built. Yeah, that's been built. It's been built. Oh, it just caused it. It says future here on the. Yeah, the, they kind of went out of order. With, that's okay. Yeah. I thought they had to put it together. That's for the laser yeah. testing and whatnot. Yeah, okay. So that, that building's completed. It's completed. Yep. And how tall the city antenna was? The dome is 41 feet. You're moving an antenna is that to the north? Yes, the it's existing actually, antenna. It's actually a lightning oh, So it's a oh. lightning rod. We'll have to the other side of our... How is it? That uh, looks like about 45, 50 feet with the ground yeah. on top. Typically want it a little taller than what you're protecting. Right. Yeah. It's at least 50. Yeah. The dome will have its own lightning protection. Okay. So the pad for the transformer is new? There's an existing pad and then we're rebuilding uh, the pad for the... Well, you mean for the antenna? For the transformer. Oh, yeah, the transformer right here, the antenna. Uh, it will, it will be an existing or that's new? No, that will be a new transformer pad. The current transformer is around the pole, which is natural good. Uh, okay. It's going to be a bigger transformer? Yeah. yeah. Curiosity, do you guys have a sizable generator when the power goes out? There's no generator there. Really? If power goes out, you're shut down. It's frequently. As you may know if you look at it. You bring generators up there to test with the equipment? We bring, they have generators with the equipment. We don't always bring them up there because we're trying to eliminate the noise that is associated with it. They do. They do have them. Yeah. If I were bring bring them up here. And there. Yeah.
I see it twice a day. I walk my dogs there in the first house on the street. Okay. Also, the traffic control officer, I tend to slow people down. I reiterate that every time he goes up there, it says 25 to 15. Yeah. yeah everyone's pretty good about it. Good. Yeah. They had a new security guard there a couple of years ago, and my wife and I were walking up there with the neighbors when our dogs came out of the facility and came out on the road to ask us what we were doing. Started to tell them we were Russian spies, but the dogs gave us away. We were walking our dogs. Exactly. I used to leave the gate open and went for the clouds to turn around, but now it's much more secure. Yeah. Doing more more product up there, yeah. 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 You actually open each the gate. So the gate is controlled by card access reader. It's a by badge. And if you don't have a badge, there's a phone that goes to the guard check and he can open it. And then you report and sign in when you get well, I'm more curious because I drive school bus and I want to know who opens it or how long you sit there sometimes. Uh, it's a it's a guard. <laughs> okay. guard. Yeah, it's full time guard now. It didn't used to be back in the day. You hit the button and it called Liverpool. Right. But now mm -hmm. there's a. Is it 24 hours? 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we see that. Even Ever since I said I was a Russian spy. <laughs> Did you have much of a chance to go through this or? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Ready? Absolutely. What additional impervious surfaces would you be adding as a result of this project? You've got a transformer pad, you've got a pad for the new antenna, anything else that's outside the footprint of the existing impervious? Nope. It just has two pads. Yes. Um, do you have an idea of how much disturbance there's going to be total? Oil disturbance? Oh, uh... You've got trenching, you're re redoing the parking lot, you're grading a lot more around the food pan. Yeah, this is roughly 2,800 square feet. I believe this is, uh, this is around 2,300 square feet, and then there is trenching. And you've got, you got grading around the pad, and the yep. pad too. Yeah, the grading. So uh, it sounds like you're under an acre. Yeah, it will be much, okay. much under an acre. So you're raising the pad two feet, and as a result, you're doing a bunch of grading, filling, I assume, around the pad. That's yep. what the proposed grade lines are. Yeah. Is there any trees that need to be removed to accommodate that new grading? And we're hoping that um, we're going to keep the trees as many as we can. Um, but yeah, this is a densely wooded area. Our tree line here is shown. Mm -hmm. Down here, it looks like you're going right to the edge. Yep. Right. The drainage is up up there. You wouldn't think that far from the hill, but the soil is so thin to get to the shale. There's not much soil up there. Not much at all. Yeah. yeah. They're adding, they're adding soil. Yeah. Uh, that is coming up. And my only other comment was the, the still fencing that you're showing needs to be parallel to the contours. Okay. Other than that, I think this is a fairly minor impact to the surrounding landscape and to drainage. So there. Adding to the feet, that's all from soil on that property. I, I don't know if there's any source. You're probably going to import it, right? Import it. Yeah. Now, I guess one of these you can see, there's a chain link fence that surrounds the whole facility. I guess I can see it on the aerial photograph.
So you don't see any increase in activity, just the activity is going to be enclosed now. Correct. Okay. Thought so. Because it's pretty regular that there's something on that pad. There isn't right now, there's soon to be. Yeah. And we don't expect to start until after July 4th weekend. Mm -hmm. so that pad frees up for the picture. I asked um, Tim to do a little background. Um, the last time he came in, the, some of the questions all came back to the road increased travel versus or usage versus who lives there. Um, Tim did a little research and with DR, and we know that as you drive in Windy Hill Lane up until the sharp curve, that's all town maintenance from the curve up to your site. Yep, that's all your guys' maintenance. And they have sort of there. paved that. They've improved the paving from where your property starts back in. Just a clarification because I came up last yeah, time. Yeah. Probably a public hearing. But yeah, I think Mike Krolik asked about it. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> you can see we, we do the oil and stone, and they've got. Mm -hmm. Black asphalt on their section. Yeah. Where does that start? Does it start right after the turn? If, yeah, right at just about on the turn right at the tree line. Yeah. Yeah. That last house. Right where, a, right where there's like a mailbox on there. That's there. actually your mailbox. There you go. Yeah. You don't use it, but that black <laughs> heavy duty yeah. mailbox okay. that's uh, yours from back in the day. That's the uh, neighborhood suggestion box. I will clarify the town follows all the way up, but as far as maintenance of the actual road, that's where the, the difference comes in. So, otherwise, yeah, the common question for the neighbors is keep the speed down. I agree. Got your comments. Any, you have anything to make? Type two, so short. Yeah. It's on top of the same. Tim, did you have anything? Anybody else from the board? Let's study more. <laughs> and you've got all the people, I guess we'll give you the names for notification. Yep. Public hearing. Yeah. Yes. Public hearing next month. Okay. Good. Yeah. Notify uh, the neighbors and then turn in the turn in the certified it too. Yep. Thank you. All right. Five weeks is gone. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Do you have anything else? No. I'm going to make a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. And I second the motion. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Yes. Nope. Yeah. Motion carries. Meeting's adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody.